In today's video, I'll answer your question, what is an advent calendar? Then afterward, as always, I'll share some helpful resources, so stick around until the end. The word advent has a Latin origin, meaning the coming, or more accurately, coming toward. For Christian believers, Christmas is one of the greatest events in the yearly cycle, beginning the celebration of the greatest gift ever given by God to mankind. That gift was Jesus, the Son of God himself, born into this world in human form and coming to live among us to show us the true nature of God, experience human joy and sorrow along with us, and finally going of his own will to die a horrible, agonizing death. In this way, the price was paid for all human sin that had cut us off from our holy God and heavenly Father, resulting in our complete and total reconciliation with Him. Centuries ago, the importance of this event caused many Christians to feel that it was inadequate merely to mark off only one day on the yearly calendar for celebrating this incredible gift from God. Believers had and still do have such a sense of awe and overwhelming gratitude and wonder at what happened that first Christmas that they felt the need for a period of preparation immediately beforehand. They could then not only take time themselves to meditate on it, but also teach their children the tremendous significance of Christmas. At first, the days preceding Christmas were marked off from December 1st with chalk on believers' doors. Then in Germany in the late 19th century, the mother of a child named Gerhard Lang made her son an advent calendar comprised of 24 tiny sweets stuck into cardboard. Lang never forgot the excitement he felt when he was given this advent calendar at the beginning of each December and how it reminded him every day that the greatest celebration of the whole year was approaching ever near. As an adult, he went into partnership with his friend Reichold and opened a printing office. In 1908, they produced what is thought to be the first ever advent calendar with a small colored picture for each day in advent. Later on, at the beginning of the 20th century, they hit on the idea of making the pictures into little shuttered windows for the children to open day by day in order to heighten their sense of expectation. The idea of the advent calendar caught on with other printing firms as the demand swiftly increased and many versions were produced, some of which would have printed on them Bible verses appropriate to the advent period. By now, the advent calendar had gained international popularity, and children all over the world were clamoring for them as December approached. Unfortunately, the custom came to an end with the beginning of the First World War, when cardboard was strictly rationed and only allowed to be used for purposes necessary to the war effort. However, in 1946, when the rationing began to ease, following the end of the Second World War, a printer named Richard Selmore once again introduced the colorful little advent calendar, and again, it was an immediate success. Sadly, the advent calendar, although still popular with children, has lost its true meaning for many. Often, children and their parents have no idea of the history of the little calendar or its true purpose, which is to prepare us for the celebration of the advent of the Christ child. Even so, the fact that the world still celebrates Christmas eagerly can serve as a ready opportunity for those who do know Jesus Christ to share the gospel and hope we have in him. May our joyful anticipation in the Advent season remind us not only that Christ has come, lived a perfect life, died for our sins, and been raised back to life to provide us salvation, but that he is returning. And may we be encouraged to share the reality of salvation in him with all around us. Want to learn more? Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Visit gotquestions.org for more great content and check out the details section below this video. There you'll find one book I recommend along with several links to related questions. If you'd like to learn about Bible Munch or if you're interested in bite-sized devotionals, subscribe to Bible Munch on YouTube. It's linked right here. Now remember, got questions? The Bible has answers. We'll help you find them.